The figure above shows the curve with equation y is equal to 2x squared minus 13x plus 6. Points a, b, and c are the points where the curve meets a coordinate axis. Point d is such that the straight line segment ad is parallel to the x-axis. So that's this line here. This line is parallel to the x-axis. And then we're trying to work out the area of the shaded region bounded by the curve, the straight line, the segments BD and AD, which, yeah, is basically this shaded bit here. Okay, so I'm going to first start by drawing a line down from point D. So that will help us split the shape up into smaller shapes, which we can then take away from one another to work out the area of the shaded region. A way in which we can do this is to consider the rectangle OAD, I'm going to call this point here E. So OAD, consider that rectangle, find out the area of the rectangle, take away the area of this triangle here, and then take away the area of this shape here. Okay, so to do that, we're going to have to work out the coordinates of A and D. So let's start with that. We have the equation of our curve, y is equal to 2x squared minus 13x plus 6. We can, to work out coordinate A, we can set x equal to 0. So this is where it hits the, the y-axis. x is 0 at that point. If x is 0, y is equal to 6. So this coordinate here is 6, no, 0, 6. Okay, now let's work out what B and C are. We don't need that for the rectangle. Actually, I think we do. So yeah, let's work out what B and C are. So to work out what B and C are, we'd have to set Y to be equal to zero. So B and C are the x-intercepts for this quadratic. That's when Y is zero. So we'd get the quadratic 2X squared minus 13X plus six is equal to zero. Solve that quadratic and we end up with X is equal to a half and six. So a half would be this point here. Point B is a half zero. Point C would be six zero. We can work out what point E is now as well. This is a quadratic. That is a symmetrical shape. So if we know that point A is 0 0.5 away from point B on the x-axis, then point D would be 0 0.5 away from C on the x-axis as well. So point E and point D, these two points, will both have x coordinates of 6 plus a half. So then point E would be 6 and a half, which is 13 over 2, 0. And then point D would be also 13 over 2. The y coordinate would be the same y coordinate as point A, so it'd be 6. Okay, so we have our coordinates. Now we can work out the area of that rectangle. So the rectangle is OADE. The base of that rectangle from O to E, the length would be 13 over 2. And the height would be 6. That's the y coordinate of A and D. Height is 6. So this will end up being 39. So that's the rectangle. Now let's do the triangle. The triangle corners are B, D, and E. So triangle is BDE. The base of this triangle, so B all the way to E, this has an x-coordinate of a half. This has, E has an x-coordinate of 13 over 2. So 13 over 2 minus a half would be 12 over 2, which is 6. And then the height is 6, so it'll be half base, I forgot my half, so 6 times 6, that's the base times the height. And then you'll have your half as well, half base times height. That will be 18. So that's the area of the triangle. So we have rectangle, we have this triangle as well, and now we need to work out this area here. Now a common mistake here is to consider this to be a triangle, but this is a quadratic, so this here is a curve, so it wouldn't be a triangle. So we'd have to integrate to work out that area there. So we can integrate the curve. The curve is 2x squared minus 13x plus 6. The limits for this integral would be the x-coordinates for this point and this point. So they would be 0 and a half. 
So integrate this, raise the power by one, divide by the new power, and then we'll put in our limits of zero and a half. This gives us 35 over 24 minus zero, which is just 35 over 24. Okay, so that there was this little area over here, so OAB. So I'll write that here, this is OAB. So remember what we're doing, we're doing the rectangle, OADE, minus that big triangle, BDE, minus that little shape in the bottom left corner, OAB. And just to show you that again on the diagram, that is this big rectangle minus this triangle here, and then minus this little shape there. This will then be OADE is 39, BDE is 18, and OAB is 35 over 24. And that gives 469 over 24, which is the final answer.